In this video we're going to look at how you would collect gas produced by a reaction in a gas syringe. So first we need a container to contain the reaction. So this is a side arm boiling tube. It's a boiling tube with a fused glass arm connected to a rubber tube, or it might be a glass tube, which is known as a delivery tube. Um, and the idea here is that the gas can't escape through the top because you put a bung in it, and so it will pass through the orange tube and into whatever you're going to collect the gas with. Another alternative uh, is this uh, conical flask with a, a bung in it which has a hole bored through it. There's a piece of glass there and then the rubber delivery tube as with the sidearm version. We tend to use the sidearm boiling tubes at kegs, so I'm going to move this one away. The principle's the same. This is a gas syringe. Uh, this is how we're going to collect the gas. So the gas is going to come in here and because we've got a very, very smooth uh, glass surfaces inside, the gas is going to push this plunger back and you can then read off by the coincidence of the two brown lines here the volume of gas that is in the gas syringe. So let's see how we can set up the equipment to collect gas in the gas syringe. So firstly we need to secure the side arm boiling tube somehow. Now one way of doing that would be to um, put it clamped here um, but alternatively you can just use a test tube rack. Something like that. Then we do need to support the gas syringe, uh, so we're going to use a clamp stand for that purpose. We'll just adjust that a little bit upwards. And then what we want to try and do is make sure that we don't have any of the string clamped. I've got this done so that the top uh, part of the clamp is the bit that moves. I'm just going to slide the gas syringe in there. Make sure the scale is um, completely visible. And you clamp it down. Uh, you may wish to clamp it at this back part here, but I'm just going to do it in the middle, it's a little bit more stable. I just, all I need to be able to do is make sure I can read the scale. Now don't over tighten that because this is a very fragile glass, uh, but that's what you're going to want to do. So there's your gas syringe. Uh, you can then just simply connect these tubes together, slide it down gently, being careful not to overly push that on too much or you'll snap the end of the gas syringe. And that's really all you need to do. You're now ready to mix your reagents in here Put the bung on and you should see the plunger start to move back. Just check before you start that there is no gas in the gas syringe. So if you put that there, you should then find that you start on the zero mark. And that's how you set up a gas syringe to collect gas produced by a chemical reaction.